What is going on? Welcome to another Beyond Plug and Play video. It is March 21st. I'm your host, Logic Motion. And today we have a couple of topics, Dragon's Dogma and Dragon Ball Sparking. So Dragon Dogma releases officially in about one more day. And apparently the performance in the game is not that great. IGN released a video where they were playing with a 4090 and a 5800X 3D, which is coincidentally the same build that I have. And they were just showing off gameplay in the city and it wasn't looking so hot when they were out in the open world. It seemed like they were getting 60 frames and it was looking good. But just like in the city with all the NPC interaction going on, it seems like there is a CPU bottleneck going on and it's pretty bad. Capcom's going to have to do something. They're going to have to fix it. Uh, and it's not just apparent on PC. It's apparent on console, PS5, Xbox as well. So you'll be seeing frame drops in the city on Xbox, PlayStation and PC. Capcom's got to put out a patch and it's it's really surprising just because the RE engine is usually I feel like it's usually very well optimized but I guess this is their first real open world game I mean I don't know you can make an argument for Monster Hunter Rise like it's, it kind of has like that open world uh segment but I guess it's not as expansive as Dragon's Dogma but uh, I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, usually Capcom games in this new RE engine run really well. So I'm very surprised. And apparently Capcom has already made a statement. So Capcom is aware of Dragon's Dogma 2 frame rate issues on PC, looking into fixes. We're looking into ways to improve performance in the future. So I don't know. I kind of wish it would just release fixed. Like the fact that we have to kind of wait on the fix is like whatever. Like why not just wait it out? I mean, you've already waited this long, but I guess they just want to get it out there. I'm excited for Dragon's Dogma. I, I played the first one, been wanting to play this one, um, and it looks it looks good. But you know, it just sucks that a lot of the times I feel like PC like games will release and they'll just the performance will be like really bad. But at least in this instance, it's really only in the city. But Still, I kind of wish we would just get better performance overall. I'm still excited for the game and I'm still probably going to play, but like with a 5800X 3D, uh, a 4090, like you should be getting well over 60 frames, especially if you're at, if you're playing at 1080, you're not even playing at like 4K. So I don't know. It was just unfortunate. I wish more PC games would just come out optimized and just worked day one. But that is, that's only in a perfect world, but so we also got a gameplay trailer showing off the new Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And from the snippets I've seen, it looks really good, um, even before they showed off this gameplay. But the gameplay looks even better. I can't wait to get my hands on this. Uh, everything about it just looks really good. The power ups, the uh, transformations, like the, the beam struggles, like it's very reminiscent of those Budokai Tenkaichi games one through three. Uh, there's even a mod for four. If you haven't tried it out, you should. It's great. Um, but they also announced some new characters. But uh, everything about this looks really good. If you just, um, I'll post a link to the gameplay video, but it just like powering up, like normal attacks, like everything looks great. They really not, they like, they captured that uh, Dragon Ball Z like style and just put it into a game. Like everything looks really good i i don't know what else to say about it like it just it's great like transforming it, it looks like um if you watch the the dragon ball broly movie like when goku transformed into blue like that's what it looks like every time you transform into blue it's sick i mean th this game's gonna be tight uh there's no release date yet on it i'm sure they'll it's got they it says it's gonna come out this year but you know who knows it could be december 31st 2024 but i hope it releases this year it looks really good i'm excited for it uh Hope the net code's good. Like we could play online with friends, lobby system, all that. Or even like a tag. Like uh, I remember in uh, the other Budokai games you could, or Tenkaichi Budokai games, you could like have two people on the same team and you could tag team against another guy and you guys would switch out. Something like that for online would be really sick. I would really like to see that. But uh, yeah, I don't have m too much else to say. The gameplay looks good. Everything looks sick. They announced some new characters as well. So we'll be getting like Topo, Jace, and birder uh, who else got revealed i believe uh dispo like uh super trunks like it's 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 all gonna be sick uh but yeah i don't i don't have too much else to say this game's gonna be good um i hope we get a release date soon and yeah that's uh this is great 
This is this is good Dragon Ball game. Good Dragon Ball game. But yeah, that's all the gaming news I have for today. Just Dragon Dogmas 2 not being that great performance wise on the PlayStation, the Xbox and PCs just all across the board. It's just not that great. Uh, and this is us- this is in the city. Uh, like I said before, it seems like the open world is fine. It's just that city where there's a bunch of NPC interaction going on. It's just very CPU limited. We also have Dragon Ball Sparking Zero gameplay. It's really the first time we've gotten unfiltered, no showcasing the character and the transformations off, just unfiltered, straight up gameplay. And it looks good. It looks great. I'm excited for it. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. I know, you know, gotta be honest around here, but, uh, This has been Logic Motion, and I'll see you next time.